This is a little bit like being back in Middle Earth. It's a majorly epic scale. Compared to the other videos we've done, we've got multiple people, multiple locations, we've got Sir Peter Jackson involved, with a workshop. What's really neat is that Air New Zealand continues to outdo themselves with every new safety video and they'll always make it fun. This Air New Zealand flight safety video is going to be the most epic of all time. I thought that a lot of the Hobbit films were CGI and like, you know, and like just completely faked in computers. And it turns out that it's just, the, that's just the way the South Island looks. It just looks fake. You just stand there and you just are totally surrounded by this, this enormity of the grandeur. I mean, I just love it down there. I, I love filming down there. I love just being there. Flying into Queenstown is, is just amazing. We're coming through the mountains and then you land and then around you are just this great wall of mountains. We are in the lovely Queenstown, and this morning we're up very early to start at four o'clock and put into process the, the whole prosthetics uh, department. All our dwarves and orcs are up first. Compared to the actual filming of the movie, it is like a mini version, I suppose. So these are the actual armour and weapons that we used for filming The Hobbit, and right now we're putting on the chainmail. So Queenstown Hill was my favourite uh, location because we were working with all the orcs and the elves. That was absolutely breathtaking and just having the Remarkables, Coronet Peak and all these amazing mountains around you was just surreal. It was quite different sitting down having lunch with the orcs and the hobbits and the elves. Um, you kind of expect a big fight to break out between the two and but yeah, you just feel like you're in a bit of a dreamland sometimes. Action! Dave, give me a ride! It feels incredible to be back at Hobbiton. It's become a pretty massive part of my life. I mean, I have a long relationship with Air New Zealand. You know, it's the gateway. Getting on that plane is so familiar to me. It's this gateway to this place that I love so much. Check these out. Blingin'. <laughs> I think it's brilliant that they use their real flight attendants. Nice to be in Hobbiton. We pride ourselves on being personable, real people on board. And not only for us, it's a nice day to get out of the office, um, but also a great opportunity to have the experience of shooting on location and meeting different people and seeing how, how all these bits and pieces are put together. I have met Elijah Wood. He's beautiful. <laughs> we locked eyes. I'm excited to work with him. <laughs> We've had rain, we've had hail, we've had snow, we've had you know, wind, freezing. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. When seated in business premier, sit upright, rest your hands on your thighs, and keep your feet firmly on the floor. You know, it looked fantastic. It, it was one of those things that it's the reality of being in New Zealand. You know, whether you're a tourist or a shooting crew, you have to deal with rain sometimes. Throw on your wet weather gear and, you know, tuck in. We're here on the Kawarau River Bungee Bridge, working alongside the first commercial bungee operation in the world. There's an element of the unknown, you know, he hasn't done a bungee before, and I'm sure there'll be a, the, the first time jitters. Yeah, I'm just a bit, a bit worried that I'm going to forget to tuck the chin. <laughs> He's going to look at the water and then and, and break my face. <laughs> I'm Matt Mueller and I'm with Weta Digital and we're doing the visual effects on this Air New Zealand safety video. You know, with visual effects you can do almost anything. And that may be doing a sky replacement or adding a Ruskabel rabbit or adding a whole army. There's a lot of people who worked on The Hobbit that are, are back for more on this shoot. Well, the shots that will be handed over to Weta Digital to take care of, um, starting at the bridge, Dan, the actor, drops a ring. And so we have to add in a digital ring because when you drop a real ring, they usually don't behave the way you want them to. The scene with Richard Taylor in it, we started on Queenstown Hill with the seat, an orc, and a flight attendant with the horn behind it. And of course, the beautiful landscape. 
When we got to Wellington, we had to shoot Richard Taylor and he'll be shrunk down to fit into the seat. The orc has to put a oxygen mask on Richard Taylor. So there'll also be an element of just the arm reaching in to cover his face and, and leave the mask. And when it's all cut together, it should look like it was all one big shot at the same time, even though it's from four or five different places. I do love it, yeah, this is a great job, it's fantastic. And we get to shoot in beautiful locations all over New Zealand. It's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Today we're here at Monkey Studios in Wellington recording the flute and the drums for the Air New Zealand safety videos. It's sounding great. Really wanted to put a full orchestral feel behind it. It just brings an energy and a life to the music. Putting a real person behind an instrument, suddenly the music comes alive. The piece was called the most epic safety video ever, so you kind of have to go there. Well, no matter how big, how creative, how epic the video gets, at the end of the day, the most important part is the safety and how we translate those safety messages for our passengers. Air New Zealand have been very supportive to us. You know, these movies aren't made by a film company, they're made by a nation of people. Kiwis are the best. I've had some of my best experiences making films here, and so much of that had to do with the Kiwi ingenuity. It kind of, it, it bound everyone together and it, it was filled with that sense of the New Zealand spirit. It's A, an advertisement for New Zealand, B, an advertisement for Air New Zealand, and C, a practical way to make people pay attention. Very clever Air New Zealand, props to you. You know, we've also got actors that love to see their faces on the side of planes too, so they get such a big thrill out of that. That's a wrap, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it.